Grade 8 math number 2.3c changed scientific notation that have negative powers of 10 to standard notation. So remember standard notation is the normal way we write numbers like 7,500 and scientific notation is like 7.5 times 10 to the third power. So now we're going to change scientific notation back into the regular numbers, the standard notation, okay? So to change from scientific notation to standard notation with very small numbers, we can move the decimal point by the number of hops shown by the exponent on the power of 10. When the exponent is negative, we move the decimal point to the left. 4.22 times 10 to the negative 6, it can be written in standard notation, regular numbers. All we have to do is look at this negative 6 and know how many times we need to hop over to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We put our decimal point and in all the empty hop spaces, we put a zero as place value holders. The negative exponent tells us the number will be less than one. So we know it's going to be a decimal. So we move the decimal left. So now we know our answer is 0 0.00000422. See? We can also figure out which number is larger. If we've got 3 times 10 to the negative fourth and 4 times 10 to the negative third, you can just look at these and tell which number is larger. This number is larger. And you know why? Because that negative 3, it's larger because the negative exponent is closer to 0. The bigger that negative exponent becomes, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, the more zeros we're going to be adding. See? And that means this decimal number is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and we're going to get past the decimal point into the millions and billions and trillions and it's going to slowly get more and more this way into tinier and tinier numbers. See? So if it's a smaller negative number, that means it's closer to the decimal point. See? If it's a larger negative number, that means there's more zeros in between the number and the decimal point. So we know this one's larger. It's four thousandths, four one thousandths, and this is three ten thousandths. That's much smaller. Each time the decimal hops to the left, the number's values decrease. See? So remember, anytime we see a negative exponent, it's telling us the number is less than 1. Okay? So if you want to just change these to standard notation, just when you see the negative 6 or the negative 7 or the negative 3, whatever it is, start counting your hops towards the left and put in your zeros for placeholders. Okay? We're going to move on to 2.4a, and we're going to talk about adding and subtracting with scientific notation, okay? Don't forget to hit the like button if I'm helping. Don't forget I'm on Twitter if you'd like to have any of these whiteboards as notes to copy or to print. And don't forget to support me on Patreon.com. I could really use the financial support each month, and I'm keeping my, ads, my videos all ad-free, and I hope they're helping you. I'll see you next video. Bye.